Hey guys, this is a video to show some progress and an update on previous Kokodama that I've shared in other videos, as well as some new plants that I've transferred to Kokodama. Why you ask? Because they are beautiful and Kokodama make taking care of your houseplants so easy. Really, really easy. And first up is Columnia. This is the goldfish plant. This is an epiphyte that lives up in trees and it is in the African violet family. Because it's an epiphyte, it is used to having a lot of air circulation around the roots, so being put into a kokodama, this plant does really well. I've already gotten some new sprouts uh, in the last two to three months that this has been in kokodama. Next up is epiphyllum. This is the orchid cactus. These are also epiphytes living up in trees, so they do very well in kokodama. And this one responds really, really well. I think it, it needs that wet dry cycle that Kokodama provides and it just starts shooting out leaves everywhere. So Epiphyllum does really well. Actually a lot of cactus and succulent do well in Kokodama. Don't ask me why they do. This one is an update to a previous video. This is my Cattleya orchid that's in a Kokodama. Two new pseudobulbs have sprouted from this. Um, I haven't been giving it a lot of sun so it hasn't bloomed but it will uh, probably soon when I give it some more light. Cattleya doing great. Next up is the Marble Queen Pothos. I took some cuttings from this because it was getting extremely unruly, but Pothos and Philodendron do very, very well in Kokodama. You can see in this next image, it is the Mediopictum, also known as the Brazil Philodendron, extremely well. I recently just took a cutting of this because it was going all over the place, and uh, I just wanted to keep it bushy and a little bit under control. Next up is an aloe. This is an aloe hybrid. Aloes and Haworthia and a whole list of other succulents do very very well in Kokodama, especially if you let them dry out and don't water them for another week after they dry. They love it. They love it. And you can see from the next image, this is my pride and joy. Aloe vera doing really really well. I have a bunch of aloe in Kokodama and they do better than my aloe in potting soil. I don't understand that exactly. I don't overwater them, but they just don't have the same growth rate than they do in Kokodama. I really think it has to do with the oxygen around the roots. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and please subscribe if you haven't. Share, click the bell icon to be notified, give a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next video.